Do you want to learn how to use YPath document understanding to extract data from documents in YPath Studio Web? I'm Marcelo, and on this tutorial, we'll create a project that will get files from our Google Drive, and then for each file, it will extract data from them using YPath document understanding. So let's start by creating a new project on YPath Studio Web. So here on project name can be, for example, document understanding. And let's click here on create. So now that our project is created, the first step that we need to perform on the automation is to create a loop for each file that we have on certain Google Drive folder. So I will leave on the description of this video a link where you can download the files that we will use on this tutorial. So here we can see two files. And so it's these ones that we'll use. And so make sure you drag the files to a folder of Google Drive. So now let's use the activity that will enable us to create a loop for each file that we have on Google Drive. So here, let's search for for each file. And here we can see the activity that will enable us to look for each file that we have on Google Drive. So let's select this activity. And now let's click on the activity block to open the configuration. And here we can see that first we need to connect to our Google Drive account. So let's click here on connect now. And now we just have to choose the account that we want to use and accept the terms. So now the connection is established. So here we just have to indicate the folder where we have the files that we want to load. So if we click here on this icon, we can see that we can access to the folder. So here in my case, let's click on my drive, doing double click. And here we can see some folders that I have on Google Drive. On your case, it will appear your folders. So I'll select here YPath Studio Web, where I have the files to use so on this tutorial. So now that we have indicated the folder on the body, we'll use the actions, the activities that we want to execute for each file. So the one that we'll use is the activity that enables us to use YPath document understanding to extract data from files. So let's click here to add a new activity. And now let's search for document understanding. And here we can see the activity that will enable us to extract data from documents. So let's select it. So now let's click on the activity to open the configurations. And first we need to select the project that contains a custom or predefined extractor. So if we open this dropdown, it will at least appear the predefined project. So by selecting predefined, it will appear then machine learning models already built by YPath that we can use to extract data from documents. So let's select here the predefined and now here we can select the extractor. So here we can see different uh, extractors that we can use. The one that we use is the W9 extractor. So our documents that we are using on this tutorial are W9 forms. So let's use the created machine learning model. And here we can see that was already created some variables when we use the for each file folder activity. So here, let's click on this variable and by click on Google Drive remote item, 
we will get access to the file that is being iterated. So now that we have indicated the input file, now here on show advanced options, we can see so that for each value that will be extracted from the document, like the name, business name, task classification, and so on, will be created a variable. So after using this activity, let's use another one to log so we can see if the data was extracted or not so let's use a log message and so here on the message let's for example here use a variable and now here from extract data let's for example display the value extracted for example the address so let's select here address and now here log level for example inf and now let's use another log message to display so. Uh, so here, let's see, can be, for example, the business name. So let's select. And now let's run our project to see if it extracted from each file of our Google Drive folder the data. So in this case, we will check the business name and then the address. So to run the project, let's click here on run. So it can take some time. Let's just wait a bit. So we can see that was already extracted some information from the first file. Let's wait for the extraction of the second one. And here we can see that then was extracted also data from the second file. So the automation already ended and we can see that on the first file extracted, the extraction at least of these two fields wasn't uh, done successfully. But on the second file extracted, we can see that was extracted successfully, the address and the business name, as we can see here. So here we can see the business name, it's correct, and also the address. So I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and also don't miss the opportunity to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you will get notified on each tutorial that I launch on the channel.